Hey, what's up everybody? What's up, Muna Nation? So, I was thinking recently about different religions and specifically about the Muslim religion of Islam. A great claim in Islam is that they have the truth and that basically all the other Abrahamic religions are lying and their book is the only one that's authentic. The Quran is the only one that's authentic. Something that you hear very often from them is that all you have to do is look in it and it speaks for itself. It all makes sense and it stands stands up completely to every test you can put on it. This is quite a bold claim and the reality is that it's not true that when you look at the verses there and you compare them to history and to science, really a simple tests in a variety of subjects, you find that there are tremendous mistakes and many many things that simply don't make sense at all so i was thinking how can they get away with this for so long for about 1400 years so how come it stood up for so long and never was debunked already in public and put to rest already something that occurred to me is the nature of the islamic faith makes anyone who speaks out against it literally liable to death. In countries that were controlled by this religion, you could never speak out against it. And if you were to do so, you would be liable to be executed. So this made dissent basically impossible. You had one side that was saying, this is the religion of truth and it's obvious and look, look at it, everything stands for itself. But anyone who could say, hey, that's not true, just look here and here and here. Anybody who would voice those kinds of opinions would be quickly silenced. So the oppressive nature of the structure of this faith made dissent very difficult. But now we live in different days. We live in days where there's freedom of religion in many areas where ideas are freely discussed, not in those regions where Islam is still the law of the land but places that are more tolerant to freedom these things can be talked about and as they're talked about and explained and researched by people the truth is able to come out and the power structure that allowed lies to be promulgated without any repercussion has no effect in these areas where we're allowed to speak the truth so look into it and you'll find the truth that islam is not the truth that it doesn't make sense and that's not to say that the creator doesn't exist or that the creator isn't great and loving and kind and merciful and wants to accept all people who believe in him honestly but the path that was taught by this religion simply doesn't hold up